Welcome back to Houston Happens. A group of remarkable U.S. Army soldiers have qualified to compete for gold in the upcoming 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. We now have a chance to hear the inspiring story and Olympic journey of one of those soldier athletes. We are proud to be joined by Staff Sergeant William Hinton. Thank you so much for waking up with us and thank you for your service. Thank you for having me here. Uh, it's a privilege. You've been through quite the journey. So let's first start with your journey in the Army. Tell us a little bit about your career. I joined the Army in 2016. I enlisted under the 11 Bravo NMOS as an infantryman. Um, from there, I completed my training and I was assigned to the United States Army Marksmanship Unit. Uh, so for about the past eight and a half years since I completed training, I've been at the AMU, Army Marksmanship Unit, as an instructor shooter. So I'm a competitive shooter for the Army. So that is now what is leading you to the Olympics. Tell me about that and how the Army has supported you. I would say the Army has supported me in, you know, every facet they could. Um, I've had the ability to travel nationally and internationally and hone my skills and compete and put myself out there with the best. And I would not be able to do that without the Army. Um, that's the competing side. And then one of the biggest factors is the training. Um, I have the facilities and the resources and the complex to, you know, hone my skills to be one of the world's best. And the Army's provided me with that. I mean, this is really incredible. What does it mean to be able to serve our country in the Army, but then you're also serving us and representing USA in the Olympics? Not everybody gets to do that. It's definitely a big opportunity. Um, you know, I've always been a patriot. I, you know, I love the United States. But if anything, I would say it's a privilege. It's a huge opportunity to be able to step into the footsteps, you know, before me, the people who are representing the Army and putting themselves out there, winning the Olympics and being the best, uh, stepping in those positions and those shoes to fill. Uh, it's a privilege to know that I have the overwhelming support of the Army, but especially America. It only empowers me to win and have a desire to win even more. And I guess I didn't realize that the Army had such an athletic bench. It, it just is surprising. So what else should we know about this? So the Army has actually sent, don't quote me on this, but around 600 uh, people to the Olympics wow. through all different disciplines. Uh, specifically in shooting, we've sent 82 to the, had 82 Olympic starts um, and shooting events. But yeah, for any information, you can check out GoArmy.com. Um, there is a ton of information about the Army and everything they do and the skills offered, the jobs offered. Um, I had no idea that there was an opportunity for me, but uh, here I am and have the resources to be one of the world's best at shooting. So how are you feeling about competing in Paris? I'm, I'm very excited. I'm trying to stay focused. Um, I was training before this interview and I'll be training later today. Um, but I'm trying to stay focused, you know, because, you know, it's definitely a box checker. But now I really get to actually do my job and go out there and compete on the world's biggest stage and win. Well, we will be cheering you on again. Thank you for your service in so many ways. You make America proud. So we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. How incredible is that? I, I had no idea. So again, we'll have all of that over on our website, CW39.com.